Germany and Japan became official allies at the signing of the Tripartite Pact alongside Italy in Berlin on the 27th of September 1940, creating the Axis. Each nation had its own territorial ambitions. Nazi Germany had successfully conquered Poland and most of Western Europe. Fascist Italy was determined to rebuild the Roman Empire in the Mediterranean and North Africa, and Japan had conquered eastern and northern China and was making preparations to extend its conquests to the European colonies of Asia and deal with the threat posed to such a move by the United States. In Southeast Asia, Japan was keen to put troops and air bases into French Indochina, now the countries of Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia, and within aerial striking distance of British possessions in Malaya. However, Indochina was technically an ally, as most of the overseas French Empire had declared itself loyal to the new Vichy regime, established in France following the German conquest. Vichy was technically pro-German, and the French maintained military and naval forces to guard their colonies. Though Germany and Japan did not become formal allies until the 27th of September 1940, they were de facto allies long before that date, and collaborated diplomatically and militarily. The French colony of Indochina was therefore, after the German conquest of France, the territory of a friendly government, at least officially. Japan was unhappy because weapons and fuel were flowing via French Indochina to neighbouring China to aid Chiang Kai-shek's Chinese forces resisting the Japanese. The Japanese wanted to occupy Tonkin in today's northern Vietnam to cut off this supply coming via the port of Haiphong, which then flowed into China via a railway to the city of Kunming. Effectively, they wanted a blockade of China. Following France's surrender to Germany on the 22nd of June 1940, the Japanese had begun to press the French colonial authorities in Indochina to permit Japanese forces to occupy Tonkin. The French warned the Japanese against any such move. In July 1940, the French forces available to defend Indochina were quite small. 32,000 regular troops plus 17,000 auxiliaries. Further negotiations opened in Hanoi, capital of French Indochina, on the 3rd of September 1940 to resolve the Japanese demands. The Vichy government wanted German diplomatic assistance, but Hitler stayed out of the dispute. On the 6th of September, the Japanese staged a border incident designed to provoke a French military response. On the 18th of September, the Japanese issued the French authorities with an ultimatum. Let Japanese troops occupy Tonkin on the 22nd of September, or Japan would invade. Only a few hours before the expiration of the ultimatum, the French came to an agreement with the Japanese. 6,000 Japanese troops would be based in Tonkin, north of the Red River, while 25,000 would be allowed to pass through Tonkin in Yunnan, China, to attack the Chinese. The French expected the Japanese to arrive by ship, but the first units of the Japanese 5th Infantry Division actually crossed the border at three places, and French troops resisted these crossings, as they were in violation of the agreement. The resistance spread to other border posts, the most serious fight occurring at Lang Son, a railhead 16 kilometers from the Chinese border, on the 22nd of September. Here, the Japanese did battle with Germans and Austrians, who were part of the French Foreign Legion's 5th Infantry Regiment. At Lang Song, it was the 5th Infantry Regiment's 2nd Battalion, occupying foxhole positions, that put up a stout fight. The battalion, some 600 strong, was composed of men from all over the world, including around 200 German and Austrian citizens. The French Foreign Legion has always contained large numbers of Germans, However, when the Nazis came to power in 1933, they made it illegal for German citizens to serve in the Legion. When war broke out in 1939, the French transferred most German and Austrian legionnaires to North Africa or to Asia, the 5th Regiment receiving many in Indochina. In this way, the French hoped to avoid asking Germans to fight Germans, though the subsequent war in the Western Desert witnessed free French Foreign Legion units of the 13th Demi Brigade in action against Rommel's Africa Corps. In the Lang Son sector, there were five battalions of French and colonial infantry. Three Japanese columns attacked, 
The main Japanese drive was on the railhead at Langsong to cut the railway to Hanoi, the Japanese south and central columns converging on the town. On the 23rd of September 1940, Japanese aircraft bombed the local airfield. On the 24th, a French colonial infantry counterattack failed. On the 25th of September, the Japanese opened a general assault on Langsong, defended by 2nd Battalion, 5th Foreign Legion Infantry Regiment, and remnants of other French units. Heavy Japanese artillery fire blasted the Foreign Legion positions, and the French lacked air and effective artillery support. After three hours of stout resistance and having sustained over 30 dead, the 5th Foreign Legion Regiment and the others in other units opened negotiations with the Japanese. At 10.40 a.m. the French surrendered. The Japanese forces, leaving a rearguard to deal with the prisoners, pressed on south towards Hanoi, as Japanese troops staged amphibious landings in the Gulf of Tonkin. In the meantime, hurried diplomatic negotiations to end the skirmishing were successful by the evening of the 26th of September. The following day in Berlin, Japan signed the Tripartite Pact with Nazi Germany and Fascist Italy. The Japanese were very interested in the fact that the 2nd Battalion 5th Foreign Legion Infantry Regiment contained almost 200 German and Austrian legionnaires. In mid-October 1940, the Japanese released all of the other Foreign Legion prisoners except the Germans and Austrians. They determined to recruit these men to the Axis cause, but without success. Vichy French troops remained on duty in French Indochina, alongside their dangerous new neighbours, until they were formally invaded by the Japanese on the 28th of July 1941. French civil and military administration continued, however, but under Japanese supervision. Following D-Day and the liberation of France in 1944, the Japanese suspected that Vichy forces in Indochina might assist the Allies against the Japanese. Accordingly, in spring 1945, Japanese forces disarmed the remaining French troops and imprisoned all French nationals and servicemen until the end of the war. Many French Foreign Legion units and individuals managed to trek overland to China to areas controlled by Chiang Kai-shek's nationalists. The 5th Foreign Legion Infantry Regiment was dissolved on the 1st of July 1945, though later reconstructed for the First Indochina War against Ho Chi Minh's Viet Minh forces in the late 1940s to early 1950s. And interestingly, once again, the French Foreign Legion received a very large influx of Germans, including large numbers of former Waffen SS troops. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. And also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.